So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's class, we'll be talking about the PIB news from 28th to 29th of March 2023. All right, and we are uh, about to, you know, end the month of March. So all the very best for the upcoming examination and keep doing the preparation. Do not wait for the notification. And let's talk about the very first question, which says, where has the national mission on use of biomass in thermal power plants, which in short is summer? And how it is in short uh, summer, I just don't understand it, but okay, Sarkar is saying in short form mein summer, isko to theek hai, hum bhi maal lete. national mission on use of biomass in thermal power plant, the government is calling it as uh, summer in short form, in association with National Power Training Institute organized National Conference on Biomass 3P, which is spelled to power to prosperity. All right. So the question is, where did it take place? Where this conference took place? Right. That is the question. So let's talk about it. Remember, it is the Ministry of Power, which has organized the National Conference on Biomass 3P, right, which is spelled to power to prosperity. And it was organized in New Delhi. Now, the objective of this conference basically was to foster an enabling environment to boost co-firing of biomass pellets in thermal power plants in India. Co-firing of biomass pellets ka matlab kya hai? In most of the thermal power plants, the energy is being generated with the use of coal. So, now the government is promoting the use of biomass pellets in these thermal power plants, right? And also to provide a common platform to all the stakeholders so that they can share their knowledge and experience in this area, right? It was organized by Samarth, which is National Mission on Use of Biomass in Thermal Power Plants in collaboration with National Power Training Institute. All right. Now this Samarth, what is this Samarth? So Samarth, remember guys, as the name says, is a National Mission on Use of Biomass in Thermal Power Plant. It was launched in 2021 by Ministry of Power to address the burning issue of air pollution, particularly in the National Capital Region due to farm stubble burning and to reduce carbon footprints of the thermal power plants, right? So this was launched uh, majorly for uh, this, this issue of air pollution in the NCR region, National Capital Region, which is Delhi. Hai. Not only Delhi, Delhi ke aspas, jo NCR wala ilaka hai, Gurgaon, Faridabad, uh, Ghaziabad, etc. Right? And also to reduce carbon footprints of thermal power plants. Okay? So that is all about it. And where did it take place? Option E, New Delhi. This conference took place in New Delhi and that is the correct answer to this question. Question number two. Pe a jate. When was the Northeast, when was the Northeast Road Sector Development Scheme launched by the Ministry of, uh, I think there is some mistake, Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region. Yeah. There is Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region which is headed by G. Kishan Reddy. So I'll make this correction in the PDF to take up rehabilitation, construction and upgradation of the roads in the region, right? So this is not a new scheme. It is in news because a reply has been submitted in the parliament, right? Regarding the scheme and that is why we are discussing it. And yes, uh, too much details of the scheme are not required. Zada detail hume nahi padni hai. Thoda baut padhengi jitna ki PIB release mein tha. All right. So remember, it is the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region, which is implementing the Northeast road sector development scheme and as the name suggests it is for developing uh, it is for development of road in the northeastern region that is the objective right but what kind of roads these are the types of roads which are being upgraded which are being constructed which are being rehabilitated under this particular scheme now of course you don't have to remember the types of roads that is absolutely not required for the examination i have provided this in the pdf so that you guys can have a look at at uh, basically what type of roads are being constructed or upgraded under this particular scheme, right? Remember, it was launched from financial year. It is being implemented since financial year 2015-16 and the current implementing agency for this particular scheme is Northeastern Council, right? Northeastern Council is the implementing agency which has been authorized to operate the budget of this particular scheme, okay? So this much is enough regarding this scheme and yeah, the correct answer will be what option C 2015-16 because that is the financial year since when this scheme is being implemented for 
रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड पर मंथ इज प्रोवाइडेड टू सिलेक्टेड बेनिफिशियरीज इन फोर इक्वल सिक्स मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ टू इयर्स अंडर अवार्ड ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप टू यंग आर्टिस्ट इन डिफरेंट कल्चरल फील्ड कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ स्कीम ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप एंड फेलोशिप फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर सो दिस स्कीम स्कीम ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप एंड फेलोशिप फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर इट हैज थ्री कॉम्पोनेट इट हैज थ्री कॉम्पोनेट एंड आउट ऑफ दीज थ्री कॉम्पोनेट वन कॉम्पोनेट इज दिस स्कॉलरशिप टू यंग आर्टिस्ट इन डिफरेंट कल्चर फील्ड राइट सो अंडर दिस कॉम्पोनेट द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द बेनिफिशरी एज ग्रुप ऑफ दिस कॉम्पोनेट सो राइट दैट इज द क्वेश्चन Again, this is not a new scheme. It is being implemented by Ministry of Culture. Again, headed by Mr. G. Kishan Reddy, to protect all genres of artist, including folk, uh, folk song artist. Right? Ministry to clear ho gaya. Ministry of Culture hai. Ab iske three components ke baare mein baat kar lete hain. Let's talk about the three components. Number one, scholarship to young artists in different culture field. And isi ke upar question hai hamara. The beneficiary age group is 18 to 25 years. and what amount of scholarship is being provided rupees 5000 per month to selected beneficiaries in four equal six monthly installment for a period of two years matlab total 20000 rupees eligibility candidate should have undergone training under any guru or under any institution for a minimum period of five years paanch saal ki training honi chahiye tabhi scholarship milegi otherwise nahi milegi under any guru or under any institution and of course this scholars are selected on the basis of their performance in pi that is the personal interview, interview or the interaction with the expert committee uh, which is providing which is actually selecting the uh, scholars to provide scholarship under this particular scheme and this expert committee is constituted by the ministry of culture theek hai ji and now the second component is senior and junior fellowships to outstanding person in different culture fields right so there are two types of fellowship in this component senior and junior senior fellows are getting are those first of all who are in the age group of 40 years and above theek okay? hai and they are getting four equal six monthly installments of 20000 each for a period of two years similarly we have junior fellowship who are in the age group of 25 to 40 years theek okay? hai 25 to 40 years and they are getting rupees 10000 in a same way four equal six monthly installment टोटल इंटेक इस कॉम्पोनेट में होता है अपटू फोर हंड्रेड सीनियर एंड जूनियर फेलोज इन अयर एंड सिलेक्शन इज अगेन बाय एन एक्सपर्ट कमेटी कंस्टिट्यूटेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री एंड नाउ दर्ड कॉम्पोनेट विच इज टेगोर नेशनल फेलोशिप फॉर कल्चरल रिसर्च नाउ अंडर दिस कॉम्पोनेट द कैंडिडेट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ यू कैन से देर आर टू सब स्कीम्स और सब कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ दिस कॉम्पोनेट वन इज टेगोर नेशनल फेलोशिप एंड अनादर इज टेगोर research fellowship scholarship so one component is fellowship and another is scholarship right now talking about the financial assistance under this component so remember selected fellows will get rupees 80000 per month plus contingency expenditure selected scholars will get rupees 50000 per month plus contingency expenditure for a period of 2 years and finally जो इंस्टॉलमेंट होगी जो फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस होगा दैट इज रिलीज इन फोर इक्वल सिक्स मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट वो बात तीनों में फिक्स है बट जो डिफरेंस है वो क्या है फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस का और एज ग्रुप का वो आपको याद रखना है ठीक है सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज रिगार्डिंग दी फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट एंड इन दी फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट दी बेनिफिशियरी एज ग्रुप इज एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स एंड दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर चार पे आ जाते हैं इसी बात पे Consider the following statements with respect to credit guarantee fund scheme for micro and small enterprises, and you have to identify the correct statement. So, इसके बारे में आपने बहुत जगह सुना होगा. Wherever there is any provision of providing credit guarantee, that is being provided under this scheme only, right? So today it's the chance, it's it's the uh, time for this scheme to be studied. So remember, this scheme was launched in 2000. 2000 में इसको launch किया था. 2000 in the year 2000. With an objective to make available collateral free credit to the micro and small enterprises, जो micro और small enterprises हैं, which do not have enough working capital, which do not have collateral to take loan from the financial institutions, to so to support those uh, uh, those companies, those manufacturers, this credit guarantee uh, 
फंड स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च इन दर टू थाउजेंड राइट इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट फॉर माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल इंटरप्राइजेज विच वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन दर टू थाउजेंड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम एस एम ई एंड सिडबी ये दोनों ने मिलकर बनाया था क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट को एक्चुअली इट इज अंडर दिस स्कीम क्रेडिट गारंटी इज बींग गिवन राइट फॉर एनी लोन विच इज गिवन कोलेट्रल फ्री टू द माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल इंटरप्राइजेस राइट सो वो जो गारंटी है वो कौन देता है दिस ट्रस्ट क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट फॉर माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल इंटरप्राइजेज विच वॉज एस्टैब्लिश अगैन इन टू थाउजेंड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम एस एन ई एंड सिड बी राइट एंड दिस कॉर्पस कॉर्पस ऑफ दिस ट्रस्ट इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड बिटवीन सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड सिड बी इन द रेशो ऑफ फोर रेशो वन विच विच मीन्स फोर जो चार वाला पार्ट है दैट इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई दी गवर्नमेंट एंड वन वन फोर फिफ्थ पार्ट इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई दी गवर्नमेंट एंड वन फिफ्थ पार्ट इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई द सिड बी राइट नाउ रिमेंबर दी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम इज टू स्ट्रेंथन क्रेडिट डिलीवरी सिस्टम राइट इज टू फेसिलिटेट फ्लो क्रेडिट टू द एम एस सी सेक्टर जो कि हमारे इकोनॉमी का बैकबोन भी कहे जाते हैं बिकॉज अगर छोटे जो छोटे मैनुफैक्चर है छोटी कंपनी अगर हमारे देश से खत्म हो जाएंगी तो भाई साहब जो मिडिल क्लास सेक्टर है वो पूरा पूरा उड़ जाएगा बर्बाद हो जाएगा टू क्रिएट एक्सेस टू फाइनेंस फॉर अनसर्व अंडर सर्व एंड अंडर प्रिवलेज एंड टू मेक अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइनेंस फ्रॉम कन्वेंशनल लेंडर्स टू न्यू जनरेशन ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स राइट दीज आर समू थाउजेंड इंप्लीमेंटेड बाई क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट एंड गवर्नमेंट और सिडबी का रेशो फोर रेशो वन है याद रखना ठीक है सो लेट्स आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट नाउ इट वॉट इज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड सही बात है इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट फॉर एम एस एम ईज सही है एम एस ईज द कॉर्पज ऑफ क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट फॉर एम एस एम एम एस ईज इज शेयर बिटवीन सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड आर बी आई नॉट आर बी आई सिड बी इट्स नॉट आर बी आई इट्स विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिड बी सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट विच मीन ऑप्शन ए ओनली वन एंड टू विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वॉट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ स्वच्छ मशाल मार्च अंडर दी स्वच्छोत्सव टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री कैंपेन अंडर द स्वच्छ भारत मिशन दिस स्वच्छोत्सव टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री वी आर डिस्कस्ड इन दर्च ओनली नॉट टेकन इट अगेन क्योंकि बहुत रिसेंटली हुआ है अगर एक महीना हो जाता है पुराना तो मैं दोबारा से ले लेता हूँ सो दैट द न्यू पीपल हुआ वॉचिंग कैन ऑल्सो हैव द आइडिया ऑफ दैट बट ये अभी बहुत रिसेंटली कवर्ड हुआ है दैट्स वाई आई हैव नॉट टेकन द डिटेल्स ऑफ स्वच्छोत्सव ठीक है सो स्वच्छ मशाल मार्च Uh, uh, has been organized, or you can say such Mashal March campaign organized was the under such 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 2023. Its objective has been asked. ठीक है उसका objective आपसे पूछा है. So remember, it is this such Mashal March is a part of ongoing such 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 गार्बेज फ्री सिटी की अवेयरनेस फैलाना दैट वॉज दी ऑब्जेक्टिव राइट एंड इट इज लेड बाई वुमेन चेंज मेकर एस एच जी मेंबर्स सोशल इंफ्लुएंसर्स एज वेल एज पोलिटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव राइट तो इसमें से अगर कोई क्वेश्चन आएगा तो वो यही होगा विद विच ऑब्जेक्टिव स्वच्छ मशाल मार्च हैज बीन लॉन्च एंड ऑफकोर्स दिस स्वच्छ टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स राइट so what is the objective what is the objective to spread awareness about the idea of a garbage free city and that's why option e is the correct answer question number 6 how much capacity of domestic solar pv module manufacturing capacity has been recently allotted to 11 companies under pli scheme for high efficiency solar pv modules jiska abhi tranche 2 chal raha hai right so that is why it is in news because it is not a new scheme so the total capacity of one second aa gaya bhai yes the total capacity of 39600 megawatt total capacity of 39600 megawatt of domestic solar pv module manufacturing capacity has been recently allotted to 11 companies under pli scheme for high uh, high powered solar pv module right and the tranche 2 of this scheme is going on right now theek hai the total outlay For this allocation is fourteen thousand seven crores under PLI scheme for high efficiency solar PV module, and it is expected that these companies will generate 
सेवेंटी फोर हंड्रेड ऑफ कैपेसिटी बाय अक्टूबर 2024 16,800 मेगावाट बाय अप्रैल 2025 एंड बाय अप्रैल 2026 दिस कंपनीज विल जनरेट 15,500 मेगावाट ऑफ पावर थ्रू सोलर पीवी ठीक है सोलर पीवी मॉड्यूल्स नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस स्कीम इन शॉर्ट सो एस द नेम सेज इट इज अ पीएलआई स्कीम व्हिच मींस प्रोडक्शन लिंक इंसेंटिव स्कीम सो द गवर्नमेंट इंटेंड्स टू गिव अ बूस्ट टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ high efficiency solar pv modules by incentivizing the manufacturers right total outlay 19500 crores and solar pv manufacturers will be selected through a transparent selection process the pli the production linked incentive uh, will be disbursed for a period of 5 years and it is expected the second tranche is expected to bring in an investment of more than 93000 crores theek hai ji so that is all about it and what is the manufacturing capacity so that's 39600 megawatt which has been recently approved so option c is the correct answer and now guys let's talk about the questions in short but before that if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link is in description link aapko description mein mil jayega question number 7 Airport Authority of India has awarded six airports, namely Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Lucknow, Guwahati, Tiruvannamalai, and Bangalore, for operations, management, and development under PPP. And we all know under which company these airports are now currently working. हम सब जानते हैं कौन सी कंपनी के अंडर है. Uh, under PPP for a period of how many years? In the year 2020-2021. कितने साल के लिए basically lease पे दे दिया है to the private company. so that has been done for a period of 50 years option c is the correct answer under panchamrit declaration which was announced by the honorable prime minister during cop26 india has set timeline for attaining non fossil energy capacity of how many gigawatt by 2030 and also to meet how much percent of its energy requirement from renewable energy by 2030 theek hai so this is 500 gigawatt ye bahut aasan question hai i hope aap sabko pata hoga iske bare mein this is 50% so option b is the correct answer question number 9 and yes guys one thing dekho kabhi kabhi kya hota hai ki jaise hi kabhi koi parliament session aata hai na to jo pichle wale session mein unhone reply kara hota hai usse data change karke agle wale mein de dete hain for example i am forgetting that data last session mein tha kuch uh, i think wo millet ke liye tha इंडिया इज द सेवेंथ हाईएस्ट एक्सपोर्टर और फिफ्थ हाईएस्ट एक्सपोर्टर फेब्रवरी में या जो उससे पहले वाला सेशन हुआ होगा अगर उसमें कुछ रिप्लाई सबमिटेड है तो वो कुछ और हो सकता है जो रीसेंट वाला था उसमें सेवेंथ लार्जेस्ट एक्सपोर्टर ही था इंडिया इन द रीसेंट पीआईबी रिलीज एंड दैट्स दी आंसर टेकन द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम दैट पी आई बी एंड आंसर वॉज दी सेवेंथ ठीक है बट अ स्टूडेंट कमेंटेड ऑन दैट वीडियो की भाई फिफ्थ है एज पर आई थिंक फेब्रवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू रिलीज जो उन्होंने पोस्ट किया था कमेंट में तो देखो क्या होता है ये चेंज होता रहता है तो जो भी रीसेंट डेटा होगा पी आई बी रिलीज में वही हम देखेंगे और उसी को सच मानेंगे राइट सो विच सिटी विच सिटी विल होस्ट विच सिटी विल होस्ट दी फर्स्ट ट्रेड एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट वर्किंग ग्रुप मीटिंग अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी तो फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ दिस मीटिंग विल टेक प्लेस इन मुंबई एंड ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट आंसर question number 10 which ministry has developed a national indicator framework on sustainable development goals for facilitating the monitoring of progress of sdgs at national level this framework was developed by ministry of statistics and program implementation headed by rao indrajit singh rao indrajit singh is the minister option b is the correct answer Which organization or organizations will be organizing international conference on G20 Trade Finance Corporation during the first Trade and Investment Group uh, Investment Working Group meeting, uh, which is scheduled in Mumbai? अभी अभी हमने पढ़ा. So these organizations are Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India and CII. So option E is the correct answer, or uh, not CII, but India Exim Bank. ठीक है CII नहीं है. India Exim Bank. Let me repeat the answer: Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India and Exim Bank. Okay, Export Import Bank. So option E 
ANC is the correct answer. Where will the Export Promotion Council organizing the 23rd edition of its flagship event, India Soft? Right? India Soft is the flagship event of Export Promotion Council, right? And it will be organized in New Delhi. Option D is the correct answer. Which project has been rolled out in 2021 as a flagship analytics project for indirect access by Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, CBIC, with objective of enhancing indirect tax revenue, increasing taxpayer base, and supporting data-driven tax policy? So, uh, this project was launched in 2021 by CBIC, and the name of the project is Project Adwet. Right? What is the name? Project Adwet. Adwet stands for Advanced Analytics of Indirect Taxes. Advanced Analytics of Indirect Taxes is the full form. Option E again is the correct answer. Question number 14. The CWG, not Commonwealth Games, Cultural Working Group, under India's G20 Presidency has organized the global thematic webinar on protection and restitution of cultural property. Which of the following organization was the knowledge partner of this event? So the knowledge partner was UNESCO, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Option C is the correct answer. And of course, UNESCO is headquartered in Paris. The last question for today. Where has the second agricultural deputies meeting of the agriculture working group under India's G20 presidency been held? The first edition took place in Indore. Indore and the second one will take place in Jaipur. It, actually, it is taking place in Je uh, Chandigarh. So, option B is the correct answer. Alright, guys. So, that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Take care. And God bless.